Hi guys, it's David. Um, I'm going to do a bit more of a serious video today. I know that I don't do that very often, um, but I there was a recent event that I thought that I should address on here just to raise awareness and do my part, I guess. Um, so here it goes. Yesterday morning at Chardon High School, which is a high school that is like a half an hour from where I live. Um, Tyler used to go there. He graduated. Um, uh, yesterday morning, a student there um, brought a gun to the school, and um, he basically at 7.45 in the morning in the cafeteria just opened fire, uh, and he injured five people that morning, uh, three of which have passed away at this point, and the other two are in the hospital, uh, and it was really scary. And I saw it on Twitter, like, at, like, 9, um, and I, like, had to inform people at my school. No, there wasn't, like, any announcement made at my homeschool shaker, um, but it was a big thing, and it was on the radio and all that. Um, so, this was just yesterday, and it was really close by, so it was really scary. At the Academy of the Day, we had a big talk about it, and we talked for, like, two hours about it, and addressed, um, how it could be prevented, and bullying in general and all that sort of stuff and then and I realized that my home school my academic school was Shaker they didn't make an announcement nobody talked about it uh, nobody knew about it and we basically didn't talk about it at all so if other high schools are the same way and they haven't been talking about it um, I wanted to go on here and let you know in my own way the biggest thing that I want to push for this uh, is that the night before he uh, the night before he committed the crime, he posted pictures of himself holding up two guns on Facebook or on Twitter. I don't know the specifics, so I might be getting details wrong. But he informed um, people who went to his school in some way um, via Twitter and Facebook, and he tweeted something, and 30-something of his peers retweeted it thinking it was a joke, and um, I'm pretty sure it was blatantly a threat. Uh, and it sucks that nobody did anything about it and everyone saw it and just thought it was a joke and nobody reported it or anything and um that it could have been prevented like a lot of school threats have been prevented in the area i mean i think there was something at brush or mayfield or another school um where someone did make a threat and the next day they you know were reported to the principal and they dealt with it however they needed to deal with it um and so i just want to let all of you know watching if anybody at your school posts anything that might possibly put people in danger, or sounds like a threat, even if they might be joking, please tell someone. Uh, let, let your principal know, let your parent know, let someone, if you can't do something yourself, let someone who will do something know, and tell them about it, and they can go forward with it. But if something like this could be prevented by someone seeing, reading those things on Facebook, and telling the administration, or telling a parent, or, or a friend, or something, like, we don't need any more of this happening. Like, it's just, it's too much. I mean, honestly, it's better to be safe than sorry, and I know you hear that a lot, probably, but it really is. It's better to be a snitch than to be dead, or to have a friend who died because of something like this. And it's tragic, and it really, if it can be prevented, please do something. So next time you see, well, hopefully you'll never see one of these things on Facebook, but if you ever do, make sure you tell someone, and, um, and yeah. And there are rumors as to whether he was bullied or not. I don't know specifics, but um, I know that bullying in general does play a big factor. And especially with social media right now, it's really easy to go and just pour your feelings out. It might not have the intent to bully. It might just be, you know, you blowing off steam and you think that, you know, it won't, it's not about them, it's about you expressing yourself. But it doesn't matter how it's intended, it matters how it's received, and if they receiving it, if they receive it as bullying, then it is bullying. And you need to be really, really careful what you say, because one thing's taken the wrong way, and then it spirals, and then there are more, it's just... Social media is a wonderful thing, I love the internet, I love YouTube, I love Facebook, I love Twitter, but it's made it really, really easy for people to be mean. Anyway, uh, I've rambled on long enough, um, but... I want to send lots of love to Chardon um, High School and to the parents of those who are injured or have passed away at this point. Um, 
I can't imagine what they're going through. But, um, but I just think that we need to sort of do what we can to try and prevent something like this. If any of you disagree with anything that I've said about bullying or about, um, the situation, if I got a fact wrong, I, um, I feel free to let me know in the comments. I mean, I would love to hear what you have to say on the situation and to start a discussion because I think most of all it's just important to raise awareness on things like this. It's really, really important that these issues aren't just, you know, swept under the carpet and everyone forgets about it and poof. I'm not saying we all have to walk around with a cloud over our head for the next month. I'm just saying rather than forgetting it, we should use events like this to make our lives more positive and advance forward and prevent things like this. So. Discuss in the comments if you want, and I will be back soon with a more cheerful video. I just really wanted to get that out there. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Bye.